This is rough. The fullback can get out of there. There goes Bo. Get some room. Bo runs a man over. Bo slipping away. Look at the speed. And he scores from 37 yards out. Bo is a manimal. The chunky man himself gets in for the score. What is going on, guys? You're back with another video. And we are in week four of our Austin Desperados fantasy draft franchise. We're going against the Patriots. They're one and two. We don't know how they lost. We don't know how they won. We don't know what their team looks like, of course, because it's a fantasy draft. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, offense played really well last week. We should probably get some backups on the offensive line, by the way, especially since we realize injuries were off for a few weeks, which is all right. Teal with an upgrade. Let's take a look at that. So my boy Teal needs some zone coverage. However, he's a man-to-man -man type, so we're going to go with man-to-man. -man. Unfortunately, he's going to be that guy who's going to have like 95 man. 95 man, like 73 zone. Uh, Arn and Key, I'm not really worried about those guys. Uh, of course, last week, Des Bryant stole Chark's player of the week with like 30, or 30 more yards. We also noticed Chark only had last week's stats on the season the first two weeks he didn't even get a single catch we've got to get that ball to that man a little bit more often and guess what we get to run the playbook i know interesting Ooh, big play slay is on the other side no picks on the season then again Lattimore only has one himself so let's see if we can avoid uh giving him that seeing the uh the old intro Quarterbacks getting all uh, hyped together. I think that guy's got the clap, and I think he might be their starter. We'll see. Not a bad stadium, I suppose. No, maybe not. Who the hell is this guy? He thinks he's top crap. His name is the clap. My boy's got the clap. I don't know how. I guess to be fair, over the shoulder catches. That's interesting. Jamison Crowder had a nice week. He actually could have been uh, up for nomination. However, three touchdown games from a few players around the league. Definitely going to make it hard on him. Hugh Jackson holding and hugging and slapping everybody. I like it. Like when I see uh, an authority figure abusing the, the people under him. So the clap. Let's see uh, what his stats were last week or season. I don't know. Nine touchdowns, four picks, 900 yards. Not a bad season, I suppose. Definitely falling well short on my boy Josh Allen, though. Seems like a proper uh, talented uh, pocket thrower. Kenyon Drake in the backfield. Not a really great uh, receiving core. And I can't get off there with Mac, but it still works. Big boy. Working through the double. Offensive line. Uh, a couple of decent guys in the room. Yeah, she's a pretty good player, except for the center. Nick Chubb is their backup. Probably would have started him if it was my team. If you have the first name is J and last name is H, you're getting called J Hugh here and there. That's what I used to call Justin Houston. Oh, what a stop. I'm going to try to use her Mac a little bit more often. And Oh, what is this? Shazier uh, did a weird. Uh, I played the smart play there, and he still caught it on me. I could have probably picked that, but I was like, you know what? I just want to get out of the field. I'm going to swap this thing down. I'm not going to get rookie, ri rookie greed in there. But apparently I should have because somehow he caught that on me. I see how it is. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge user on the outside. That's where I'm going to play then. Jesus, he actually did burn me again. To be fair, Lattimore just got burned in the same way. Oh, Shazier. That's a wide open player. And Jordan Reed. Thank God he fell. Thank God this game still doesn't have stumble recovery for AIs. Jesus. Malayak. Malarkey hooker. Edmonds. Oh, good bait. Oh, my God. This quarterback is good. I mean, I know it's the first drive, but I'm just saying. The sliders were never easy. We've just been playing bad teams. This guy looks good, man. All right. They had a good drive. They have a, an okay quarterback, I suppose. We've got Josh Allen. Let's take a look at the man's numbers. Almost 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, 3 picks. Easily on par for one of those MVP seasons. However, we have to see this thing through. But this league so far, we're doing all right. It was a good look, I think, but... His win could uh, play a factor today. Did not get the throw in there, though, which is unfortunate. Let's see these guards make some plays here. Chark, come on. Take someone out. Or not. Or not. I don't even know what the hell happened there. Did we stumble out the gate? I'm not going into the playbook. I'm just running whatever they tell me to run. 
Rolling out. And look at the lockdown coverage. I'm just going to have to throw this away. Look at why Burgess, the rookie, got completely locked there. And that is a drive that goes for negative one. Stuck on the line. Nice delay draw there. Kenyon Drake's definitely going to get a lot there. And there's the first injury we've seen all season. Keelan. Is it Keelan or Keenan? I think it's Keelan Cole. I really didn't know where to go because Shazier wasn't locked in on anyone. But luckily they did enough to force him to throw it away, I suppose. A great look, but, I mean, all he has to do is make one man miss. I mean, because I was kind of going back. So we're going to make a one man miss. The rookie, a nice little return there. We got to hold ours inside. Siki drops it. Damn it. Let's take a look at their defense. So Goodard, Michael Pierce, and Carl. So Pierce is the only good D lineman they have. Uh, on the outside, not really great pass route. What are they running? Is this a 3-4? They actually drafted the wrong players. It's a rough one. That's all right. I don't know how they're locking up, though. And it's almost intercepted. Jesus, their coverage has been good. Looks pretty good to me. NFL record books. It's good. 65-yard field goal. Was it this league that we broke it, or was it the Bears? Did we break the field goal record in two different leagues this year? The wind is wild, and Jake Elliott nails it. Look at that. I don't call him the best kicker in Madden for nothing. Clearly the best kicker in Madden, no question. Obviously, you know, maybe physically he's maybe number two, but the age and the dev, he's number one. To the outside, nope. Damn it. Somebody get off to that edge. Oh, and the rookie. Didn't get to see how uh, long what's-his-name would be injured for Cole, but Fowler's in there. Inside with Shazier. They're going to have a comeback route here. I'm going to need somebody to get in there. And there's the comeback route. There is a flag, though. And it hopefully better be illegal touching. Because if not, they're down to the three. It is illegal touching. He went out of bounds. Thankfully. There's a real chance to make a play happen. And he holds on. Wow. Third and seven. Got to get him off the field. And go for the pick. And the rookie gets it. Keep those feet in. Damn it. Teal with a clutch interception. I don't know why he took that opportunity, but earlier he had a little dump off and he didn't take it. Questionable one from the Rook. Chark obviously wide open here. And Chark can't slip him. I thought he would have. And I stared down the receivers. They got. I don't understand where the illegal like contact doesn't come in here. And he sheds inside and gets us. Like I said, the only good player they have, Michael Pierce, and he gets another. Cooks. Oh, right bumper. The rookie, and he's gone. He's out of energy. No. He fights to the three. Two-yard line. Only two completions for 94 yards. Good play by the guard. He's got one to beat. Inside spin, and McCaffrey scores. What a play. Really had two men to beat there, and he did it. McIntosh, finally. No, McIntosh. The other big man, Chris Jones. And there's the pick, and that's a pick six. Oh, we know that Melifon we're having a season. Of course, we pretty much scored what? Maybe? No, it wasn't. I think 14 unanswered. 14 unanswered, so. Obviously, they're kind of bound to break for one free this, you know, here and there. They finally got one, and there's a good blocking set. What a nice little move inside. No time wasted. Just cuts it right back up. To the outside. And Omi almost just took another one back. He would have literally just locked up player of the week. Maybe even DB of the year right there. Statistically, it's likely that he's going to do it again. And what? Maybe not a tackle. And there you go, Edmonds. What a damn attempt, though. We almost had him right out the gate. Two minutes in the second. We have ourselves a bit of a game this week. I know we made a really good comeback here early. But it's only a seven-point game. And Bo gets the first down. Good play by Bo. I don't care who gets the ball as long as we're getting first. And McCaffrey gets about seven. Honestly, looking at that, that's not even close to the look I thought it was going to be. We have it kind of, I mean, if, if 63 can get out there, which he can. Yeah, there we go. McCaffrey getting some room, slips one to the 45-yard line and gets out of bounds. 
Not a great look, but a good one. Depends on Cooks. Good job, Cooks. Shark. He's going to get about eight or nine and get out of bounds. Nice play. This is rough. The fullback can get out of there. There goes Bo. Get some room. Bo runs a man over. Bo slipping away. Look at the speed. And he scores from 37 yards out. Bo is a manimal. The chunky man himself gets in for the score. That was an amazing run. Probably the best all season so far. The John Ross run was nice too, but it was at the end of the game where we didn't really need it. And it was really just an outrun play and Lattimore. Lattimore got completely burned, but luckily I switched off and saved him. But he doesn't hold on for the pick, which sucks. Unless they're going to run a counter from there, which is very unlikely. Inside finds the man. Good play to Crowder to the 50. I like this quarterback. He's fearless. I mean, look at the throws. I know it's a drop there, but those are great throws that you expect your guy to make, like for catches. I mean, you saw last week Jacoby, you know, he had a lot of mistakes early on, and he just never got it going. He was too afraid, kind of just blew the game. But, I mean, their quarterback, I mean, look at the plays. Their quarterback, he's just throwing them. He doesn't care. He's like, whatever, things happen. Play it again, you know, give us another shot. Good find. I know it's a little short one, but... You know, after Jordan Reed makes a couple of moves, it turns into almost a first. There, you know, nice, nice little spin inside. Huge pop, but it is a first down. Obviously, they're going to try to maybe hurry up to the line. No. I'm not saying I'm the greatest user in the world, but, I mean, look at that D. And there goes Davenport with the coverage sack. Ooh, I accelerated there. He finds his man. I don't know if it's going to matter, though. Yeah, it's not going to matter. It's going to make the field goal easier, but it's not going to matter for trying to score a touchdown. If they showed a little more urgency earlier, maybe they would have had maybe 13 seconds at the goal line to maybe take a shot or two. A clutch little drive for them. They are down by 11, though, and I believe we do get ball at half. So it was a good first half for both teams, really. Just a couple more turnovers on their side. John Ross on the outside. They do have a lot more yards than us, but that's all right because who's winning, huh? Who's winning? John Ross to the outside really didn't even have that much of a look, but look how fast he is. 20-yard gain because how fast he is. That's basically it. Chark, that's really good foot placement. Wow, what a play. I might add Cooks, but that safety kind of worried me. Bo Scarborough is the real Bo in this one, and look at him run him right over. Good 8-9-yard uh, gain, not bad. I mean, they look like they're giving us the lane, but something tells me one of these receivers is going to miss a block. Nope. Got to trust your team. And we kind of did. There is a flag, though. That better not be us. It might be an illegal block in the back. And exactly what it is. All right, Evan. This is all you, man. Just kidding, McCaffrey. Nice little move inside. Making the juke move right after the catch made me catch it quicker, which was nice. McCaffrey, I don't really know if I believe in this, to be honest. Oh, I really do. Look at the slippage. That was definitely not planned. I, I looked left, and I did not see it, so I tried to cut back to the right, and we somehow bounced it free. Third and four here. Last week, you know, McCaffrey had a great rushing game. Didn't have any touchdowns. This week, not a super great rushing game. Two touchdowns, so everyone gets theirs. They just got to wait. Teal locked up Reed on that one. Absolutely locked up. I have to leave him. And he throws it away. Should have threw to Reed. I don't, know, I don't know if you just missed the throw there. Reed was open. See what Cooks can do on the other end. A bit, a little bit faster. Oh, Jesus. I have him too. I can't get it though. I had to roll out to the left to avoid the sack. McCaffrey wide open here. That's a first. Oh, why doesn't he finish the freaking block? And I think he has him. He definitely has him. That is a goner. John Ross. Showing up the last two weeks. The man playing running back is the best receiver you can get. It's it's wild because they don't expect them. It's weird. You know, they've only been like kind of big plays, not really a lot of consistency, but when you're consistently making big plays, it says something. And we're just blowing teams up this time. This season around, last year we kind of had a little 50-50, but passing this year has been really good for us, even though, once again, the stat, you know, the sliders are up. Still dominant, though, because you got those youngsters. And that's a great throw. Oh, my Lord. And there goes Davenport off the edge free. 
Uh oh, uh oh. And straight off the edge. Now that's creativity. Brought Amos off the edge on third and 13, and we got him. AIs don't do too well with the uh, the secret off the edge stuff. And here's another shank of a punt. Oh my lord. I'm just leaving that. <laughs> did you see what that man did to us? He just hit the Ruhr guy on the ground. I don't even want to know. Wheel mesh. Ooh, Evan Ingram down the middle. Might be left. I know they probably have some safeties. And he literally was left. He's wide open. What are they doing? How do you leave Evan Ingram that open? I'll never know. What in the world was that? And I simmed it a little bit. They get a 45-yard touchdown. It's just, I don't, you know, when we beat these teams like this, I don't know what to do. Like, do you guys want to just see me hammer teams when we get them? Just going to run with Josh. Gets a lot of room. I don't know. I mean, I guess I might have to up the sliders some more. I mean, I think the blocking sliders are perfect. For us right now, perfect. Pass rush for us on the other side, they, they don't really get in. I mean, we don't really get much pass rush. You see here, we get a couple of runs that are nice. They block shed us sometimes and dominate us. I think all the blocking sliders across the board are perfect. I mean, Evan Ingram and Cooks, they should get open a lot. Those guys are two very talented players at their position. And, that I mean, that's a good blow up there in the, the run game. I mean, Chark doesn't get open, and he's not a good overall. So I think the coverage sliders are pretty good, too. That's the one difference, I think, that needs to be made. It's a good run by... Oh, no! No, you don't, Kendron. Kendron? I don't even... Kenyon. Kenyon Drake just had an interesting one there. And... Look at the break tack. I mean, those tackle breaks are insane. I don't... I really don't think the sliders are bad. I just... I don't know. Obi right out the gate! I had to cover the running back, but I felt I had a lane in between, and I did. Fourth and inches. And they're going to punt the ball. Love the urgency. Could be a fake. Could be a fake. I really thought it was going to be fake with the, the max protect style there. Except for Josh Allen, who's getting these gapers. I have a couple of guys. No way he gets that throw. No way! No way! Josh Allen just bombed it! Good block. Evan wide open again. Try to slip him, can't. Evan is not good at breaking tackles, I'll tell you. Right inside there, a little early, but I got excited. I have A, I don't really trust anyone here. Back of the end zone, and Bowringer almost got it. And they're just not going to cover him. John Ross into the end zone for his second of the game. They actually scored a touchdown on like one play. 52 to 27. Looks like our coverage stats might need to drop a little bit. At least five. Couple of stills. Burgess. Got a... Uh, I don't even know who the hell that is. Maybe Chark. I don't know what Chark. No, I think Chark's number 80 for us. Very solid game. Uh, yet again, offenses were both very, very uh, high in the stat line. I'll tell you. We ran the ball pretty well. Can't lie. Pretty well. Passing yards are a bit better than I think. I just think we took a lot of sacks there in that game. Let's take a look at the actual stat line, though. So Josh Allen finishes with three touchdowns, zero picks, 370 yards. Clap, though, 461 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. Really didn't even throw that many picks for our usual standards. Bo Scarborough had a nice couple of runs. That 37-yarder was beautiful. McCaffrey was still good. Not as great as last week, but still good. Evan Ingram, last couple of plays, a lot of yards. John Ross, 83 yards, two touchdowns. Not a bad game for him at all. Defensively, sack totals three for Davenport. Uh, one for Chris Jones. Picks Teal and um, Obi Malfanu. And then the one kick was a massive one. A 65-yarder from Jake Elliott. To put us at 4-0. I mean, look at our pass coverage stats. It's at 45. So I'll drop it again a little bit more. Jump theirs up a little bit. Nothing crazy. Let's get their wide receiver catching up to 58. Let's get up to 60, actually. Bump their accuracy a slight bit again. So... 
I mean, the numbers are high. I, I don't know what else you want from me. Going against the Dolphins, I don't know what their record is. They are 3-1, so they appear to be a good team. So this is a good test for us. Uh, Josh Allen has a, a very rare upgrade. I want to go Field General. I hope it doesn't ruin him. And it doesn't, thankfully. Please, I need some upgrades. Two mid, one short. Uh, it's not bad, I guess. Could be worse. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. John Ross. Uh, actually, let's take a look at who Player of the Week was. Don't think it would have been anyone on our team. Oh, it was Josh Allen. Actually, he had a really good game. I forgot about that. That's probably how he got his upgrade. Solid numbers. Look at the numbers jo uh, Goff did. Jared Goff did very well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, 